worlds only? Come on. Me make you laugh long time. Okay, we Ready? Yep. The unknown zone. Talk show, talk show. Zone unknown. Talk show, talk show. How the hell you find it? In your overpriced high-tech telephone. Deep in your bones. Underneath a pile of stones It's some kind of virus Deep in your nose In between your toes Smack dab in the middle of your split crotch panty hose The unknown show The unknown show The unknown zone So you, you know you, I, I you're farsighted. Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, me too. I'm farsighted as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can drive without glasses, but I, I can't. I thought I was unique. Did you? No, well, you're creative. Creative people are probably farsighted. But no, I have to. I'm a one. My prescription is a one. Literally a one. Okay. When you say a one, you mean a CVS? Thing. CVS one? Like? Yeah, but even the eye doctor is like a oh, one. Oh, it is. Oh, they're right. When I wish to wear contacts before I got LASIK, yeah. my prescription was, my prescription was my contacts was one on that one eye. Really? So it was like, you know, I might hear people have six. And I'm like, oh. Did you have LASIK sur surgery? I did, like, did. Uh, six years ago. Really? But they said it would be, I'd probably be older than you're supposed to get it, but then they said um, at a certain point you would be doing that. So I do need to, like, just, I just literally like, pop them on for a second and see what's there. It clears, it clears the letters up. But that's, I, I would look at Dwayne Reed or CBS and go and look at them and say, I don't see any difference. But then recently when I went, I'm like, oh, I see it. So that's awesome. That is fascinating. Of course, I bought that because it was out of health. Yeah, well, you went to CVS to use your health health care spending account. Well, flex spending, you mean? Flex spending. Flex, flex spending. spending yeah, yeah. That thing, yeah. I went uh, to the most expensive place and bought like a thousand dollars glasses. Well, they have a one a one <laughs> that I don't even <laughs> use them that much. Yeah, you, you know what it is. As as I, as I get older, I definitely need them more. But um, it becomes like an accessory. It's like the, you know the Jew part of me. It's like so you know, see I have the and I almost want I want to say bedazzled. <laughs> they, <laughs> they do look bedazzled. <laughs> they do, right? They have the little rhinestones in the cat eye. It's like it's jewelry for me now. But I like when there was one night you were wearing these glasses and you had your hair back and you were wearing this like turquoise or string matching your glasses. And you had this really like almost like fifties or sixties secretary look. Wow. Like if only I had a boyfriend, that would be so that would be such a great role playing thing. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> oh one day perhaps. One, one day, day perhaps. perhaps. Well welcome Gerard. Um I'm Thank glad you. we had that little um side glasses discussion. Yes, it is the unknown talk show. We never know where we we're going. We never gonna know go where we're this. going. Woo! Like that sound how effect. Did you know, how could you read that? Well, you know Can what? I've used it? this a few times, okay. um, and uh, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> I save that for when Dave's here and he tells a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so these are what they probably used on sound effects on movies, right? This little stupid thing. <laughs> so that's exactly what it's they use. It's a used. low budget movie. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Okay, yes, low budget, or in, in our case, no budget. Well, there you go. But welcome. I just want to say we're in the mini studio, um, and it's just you and me today, pretty much, unless we decide to make some phone calls, which is unknown. So fat, so amazing when we say that. Um, but you know, I wanted to, I wanted to move on. Um, I really wish I was Jack Black's sister, by the way. Why? Um, because I think he's very funny, and then I might have um, more of a career. He, you know, because he has access know. to the. I'm so on today with the sound effects. I'm usually pick the worst, the wrong ones. Well, you know, it could be the opposite too, because you know, there's this article I saw online this week about the football players. They, could they get drafted and they're going to get it, like become instant millionaires, and all the hangers on. Come out of the woodwork. Of course, that's anyone everything. like lottery and winners. It's a struggle for them, and even family members who they're close with, all of a sudden, like, oh, don't sign for that contract. They're like, all of a sudden, oh really? Them, like, you know, well, well, you know Jack what the Black thing is, Jack Black might be the same thing. Like, uh, sis, get away. Sis, get away. Right, right. Well, and that, you know, that just shows that I don't have enough faith in myself if I say stuff like that. So yeah. I, I take it back. Just because Meryl Streep's daughter has a career, Tom Hanks' daughter has a career, this daughter and has son, a career, son, and Tom whoever, Hanks' son, yeah. and I know, I know exactly. All well, my father, we had because they have they're taking all our spots. Exactly. You know, well, my father, we he was actually in show business, and he had um, the op whatever the opposite of nepotism was. Uh, he tried to 
tried to shun us away or keep uh, the people away from us, which was great. Show business? What did he show? Yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, wrong one. All right, okay, whatever. Well, see whatever. <laughs> see you next week. Same time next week. Yeah, so anyway, well. we're here um, in the in the mini studio. I said that earlier. And oh, Michael, come in. Come in, Michael. That was sooner than we had anticipated. Yeah, you're actually kind of perfect timing. We do we say right now? I know. Do you have a pen? We need you to sign the release form. Yeah, we're not going to. We don't you trust don't. you to do sign it. Do you have a pen? I do have a pen. Okay. Oh, I do. What do you know? Sign. I need to have my glasses on. Please sign that. on the dotted line. Welcome, Michael Carroll. Okay. Don't, yeah, don't talk yet. Don't talk to you. Sign that motherfucker. Don't talk. I'm going to tell you, you know, this is the Unknown Zone Talk Show, Michael. Sign in. Read it later. Yeah, don't. Mm -hmm. this, it says something what about. could possibly happen in the mini studio on Brooklyn <laughs> East Park Slope. It, there's something about your firstborn, but don't worry about it. Want me to get, maybe should I get my pen? Is that a crappy pen? Well, I'm going to keep talking because it's radio, and uh, we, we, you know, our one listener gets very angry if there's dead, dead air. So I'm going to keep talking. Um, I, uh, this, I ask a question on the show uh, that we address, and we, we let it take us where it will. Thank you. Um, I should just throw this pen out. Uh, the question of the day is, can I relose the 20 pounds I regained for the umpteenth time and keep it off once and for all? Yes. Oh, good answer. Yes. All right. You think I can? Yes. Well, and I don't even know to have a sound effect for that. Wow. Uh, here. <coughs> like fat leaving the body. That's gas, or right? That's yeah, fat. It's okay. the closest thing to taking a dump. Okay, so I, so I, I still have a cup. I am doing my street address yet, but you have my signature. Okay, that's all okay. I care about. Come on, move yeah, in. Move in. Is no, it too no, early I'm, just, to I'm, just, I'm, I'm excited to okay. jump in here. I know. Move over. I, here. Call, move over. Move over so we get you on camera. Okay, how's my sound coming in? Just, yeah, let's, he, yeah. Well, Mike's okay. a tech guy at BCAT, which is yeah. fantastic. Mike's not here to fuck around. Yeah. Mike Mike's not here, around. man. I can't see you, though. Yeah. I can't see you. Should I do yeah. that? Taking a space. Wait, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, my God. I think I'm on the tilt a oh. whirl. Oh. It's like being on the tilt a whirl. I love this angle because you can really see where I'm Whoops. Following. There's the top of our heads. Oh, I'm, playing with the, I'm, taking, I'm playing with the camera. and That's not bad. Now you just have to come in a little more, Michael. Yeah. I love my purple shirt. There yeah. we go. Really there purple. we go. Now, yeah. which camera is that? That's, like that's camera two. That's camera two. But I don't care if you, yeah, camera one, but we're not going to use camera one. Okay. Notice the background. We have different backgrounds that we use every time every we're in here. Every single time. And yeah. this is this is going to be the smart show because we have a lot of books behind us. <laughs> I see where you get. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we all have show. glasses. Okay. Yes, we all have yeah. glasses. I just have glasses because I'm older, but that's whatever. We, did you always have glasses? Uh, yeah, fourth grade. Fourth Around the time we got into Star Trek. Really? Yeah. So the nerd thing <laughs> hit you know, yeah. Wow. Well, I just want to say welcome Michael Carroll. Mm -hmm. Michael works at BCAT, Brooklyn Public Access. Mm -hmm. What does BCAT mean? Brooklyn Cable, I Cable Access Television, though we rebranded. Now we're the Brick Community Media Center. Ah, and, and why do we rebrand? Re -brand? What was, what's the deal? Brick sounds better than BCAT. Brick? Brick, Brick, BCAT. Brick, Brick means means like sounds a little business. bit like you're a pussy. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Brick BCAT, means right. though, I, I'll tell you, there's Somerville Cable Access Television that's scat. Oh, oh that's like kind of cool. Like, that's like the well, jazz like people. Like, well, yeah, well that's, that's, that's one way you can Welcome scat. Welcome to scat. Yeah. Nice Facebook chat. BCAT, right. scat? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. BCAT? Yeah. And Brick sounds tough. Brick sounds tough, but the tough, the really tough part is finding the good acronym for it, which we, we got something, but... I yeah, want to well say anything well on the air. But Why? <laughs> no, I just, I, it was, I, I, we were trying to figure out, well, there, there's some sort of thing where they were trying to figure out what the new acronym was, because they had an acronym which was Brooklyn Information Community or something like that, you know, and uh -huh. then they found a new one, and they, they presented <laughs> it. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. No, I, no, I, 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 I asked. Yeah, yeah. Well, acronyms yeah. are important, like that, they're all good. Gerard loves like asking CBS. questions. CVS. Yeah. Gerard, yeah. Gerard loves. Ger Gerard is my sidekick, or sloppy seconds, as I, as yeah. I like to call him. <laughs> I'm not Al Qaeda's number two. No. <laughs> That's right. We said that. Er it was a whole Don't thing we said me. earlier. Mm -hmm. um, but um, Ger Gerard, here we had this discussion earlier about you know the the balance between asking a guest questions and <laughs> being funny, yeah. right? And and Gerard is an informational kind of guy. We you know I sure you know, and funny. Thank you. I just want to ask you, which book have you read? All those books that are behind us. On the on the green screen, Gerard. Uh, I've read the green screen. Okay, Michael. Can you zoom in so I can actually no. see? Can I? This is like now I'm like the weatherman. Whoa, I, wrong way. No, I can I, only I zoom us, read, not yeah, that. I that, was I love those. that was the joke. Oh. I read, I read <laughs> that <funny>. one. <laughs> yeah. And I read. He, Michael's pointing. That one right there. I read this yeah. the middle shelf. Yeah. Everything on the middle shelf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yesterday. I, I, I was bored yesterday. I read. I read them all yesterday. <laughs> 
So anyway, so um, Gerard thinks I can lose the weight. See, what happens is uh, I have an eating disorder. Um, I see food and I eat, I eat it. Yeah. Is that a diet? Is that a disorder or a diet? You see food and you eat it? You it's, it's, rare. it's good if you don't have eyesight. And you can't see <laughs> it. <to eat> it. <laughs> okay, well, that, I don't, I'm not sure what that meant. Wait. It means if you can't just eat food and diet. That means that oh wasn't God, that Here funny. we go explaining a joke. We're in trouble now. <laughs> exactly. That if you see food and you eat it, the it's first good rule if you're blind because you can't see the food. The first rule it. of comedy, if you have to explain it, it's not funny. You knew that, right? Listener. Listener. Don't so, <laughs> don't so, 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 what, so what's the problem with, what's the problem with losing the 20 pounds? Uh, well, I, lo I, went, I did Weight Watchers, mm -hmm. and I lost 30 pound, 35 pounds, which would not be the first time I've done that. Yeah. Um, How long ago was this? Uh, wow, it's like a year and a half. Okay. Like, like, like three years ago, I lost the 35. Mm -hmm. And then I, th see, this is what I do. I'm, I'm kind of a grazer. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, like, I was watching what I ate, but I wasn't counting. They do a point thing. Yeah. Which is movie theater popcorn. How many points is that? Uh, 9,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't tell, don't, too, too don't many. criticize what I eat. I didn't criticize. I asked the question. <laughs> don't judge me. Was it judgmental in tone? Yes, it was. Okay, well, <laughs> it was... <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? I just wanted to, basically, I just wanted to, we want to talk about nutrition today, which I know Michael's a big uh, proponent of. Oh, sure. Of. <laughs> I'll give him something. <laughs> How many hangovers a week do you have? Just out of curiosity. Uh, three or four? Okay. Cause yeah. I, yeah, because whenever I, I can always tell when Michael has that. Now I know. So in other yeah. words, if you lived in what's still in Alaska, you'd probably be a meth addict. Yeah. It's, okay. it's like meth, have you done meth? Yeah, like, you know, just slide right into it. No thought. You know, you just like a, probably about a week. Off scale with the, uh, you don't seem like a meth guy. You seem like no, a, but like I, an I, I'm not. Guy. But but you know, like I've actually grew up in Alaska for a while. The, oh, you did? Yeah. Um, those sure. those yeah those those. You're uh, not making that up. No, I'm not making that up. Okay. Uh, but I but believe, this was from I like age you know one what? to four. So it but one to four, now, you did meth. But no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I were there wow. now for any length of time, you know, I would have done meth. So meth is big in Alaska. It looks like it. I'll tell you because I because my parents moved back up there for a while. I went back up there. Uh, three years ago, and um, I went to all the same places I went to as a kid, and they looked so. And I, it, it's that fusion of I totally remember that and being bright-eyed and innocent, thing that looks so fun. Slash, this neighborhood is scary now. Wow. You know, like yeah. Yeah, just, you know, you know that thing. Yes. It, was, it was magical. Slash, it was magical neighborhood in Alaska in all four houses. Uh, <laughs> well, we were in two houses, but two yeah, of the four. We, two of the four. Yeah, two of the four. Were, yeah, some of those neighbors wow. were just frightening. I'll tell you, you know, I, I grew up on Long Island, and I, beli I believe there's a lot of drugs going on there because when I grew up, people <laughs> drove normally, and now when I go out there, it's, it, I feel like everyone's on, on meth or mm -hmm. some kind of speed because the driving's insane. Yeah. It's just crazy. So, okay, so you, where are you from originally? I was born in Colorado and then Alaska, California, Washington State, Massachusetts. Wow. So mostly West Coast and a little East Coast. A little East Coast, What yeah. brought you East? Uh, my dad was working for the Environmental Protection Agency. Wow, yeah, that's so very interesting. Yeah, so and I so think that's we go to places that had a lot of pollution. We did <laughs> <laughs> to clean up the pollution. I guess I so. I don't know. Out of your nose right now. Yeah, probably. Yeah. No, that's all the years of smoking. Oh, you Speaking smoke of, too? Well, I I I quit, but I've had a rough couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Gotcha. Movie theater popcorn. <laughs> I would love to movie theater popcorn. Well, that's interesting because what kind of goes with my, my weight situation is mm -hmm. nutrition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's really, I wanted to talk about nutrition today because of what's going on with Angelina Jolie. Okay. Um, because I don't know if you've seen any of the threads on Facebook, mm -hmm. but it's Probably. been, the last few days it's been crazy, and I spoke about it on the last show. I'm very uh, upset. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, passionate. passionate. You are passionate. Yes, I'm definitely passionate. I, I really believe if I wasn't into comedy, I would have been into nutrition. Sure. Um, because uh, I have food allergies. Yeah. You know, I'm allergic. To, I have the gluten thing. Okay. Um, which what did you do before we even heard of gluten? Well, I wasn't allergic to it. What, what I believe, and a lot of people believe these days, is that um, we've all, uh, not we all, everybody, but a lot of people have acquired a gluten allergy because of all the processed foods. Like, think of before the, the, before the 60s. You know, you didn't hear about gluten allergies. I mean, people die from, you know, cancer and, yeah, and alcoholism, sure. but um, but there wasn't the gluten because the food was much more wholesome, mm -hmm. and there was less pollution and blah, 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 all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So because of processed foods, I definitely grew up with a lot of processed foods, I believe my body became intolerant. That's kind of really what happens when you, yeah. when you get the food allergy, and um, no longer has 
the ability to process crap. Really, it's just processing crap. Yeah. You know, which was actually a blessing for me. Well, you look so pretty. I'm, I know you're going to learn a lot today. I look at, if you look at his face, he's like, what the fuck is she talking about? And that's good. I think that's good. I'm thinking about Paris, but okay. <laughs> good. I love Paris, by the way. Have you been Wait, to Paris? Yeah. So, <gasps> so, yeah. so, 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 what? Go back to nutrition. I'm not, I'm not going to the zone unknown that way. Okay. Yeah, can right. you, okay. So, asterisk on this. I love Paris. So, um, <laughs> Angelina <laughs> Jolie, what's, the, what's, okay. so, so, anyway, so, yeah. so, so, okay. So, I've out. gotten into nutrition. Mm-hmm. Um, I have, I, I've done a homeopathy. I've done um, Chinese medicine. Mm-hmm. Um, have you exercised? <laughs> I've exercised regularly, regularly, motherfucker. Since I was 25, but I actually not semi-annual, not like, like a regular you. semi-annual like white sale. I actually, yeah, my father is very athletic um, and very into nutrition. He's taken vitamins and worked out his whole life. So once I hit 25, ironically, and I still do drinking, drinking and doing drugs, mm-hmm. I, I I stopped doing all that at 30, age mm-hmm. 30, um, recovering. Um, I made a deal with myself when I was 25, saying I had to work out at least once a week, and if I did any more, that would that's gravy. Um, and that realistic goals. Realistic goals instead of that other thing that, you know, the self-sabotage where we all say, oh, I have to work five to seven days a week, mm-hmm. you know, or I'm a loser. I actually did the opposite where I said, if I, I work out at least once a week, I'm a winner. But you hear what you said there. You said it's gravy. So in your head, it's still uh, like <laughs> <laughs> It's gravy and icing. Yeah. I, I usually say icing. Yeah, the icing yeah. cake. Right. Cherry on top. Exactly. Yeah. It's never the uh, it's tomato. It's uh, bitter pecan it's ice cream. It's never the more. lettuce on <laughs> top. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, exactly. It's the avocado. So I have been working out regularly. I've rarely missed a week since I'm 25, which I'm very proud of. Um, you play softball, so you do. Well, I play, yeah, but softball. that came later. I, I work out in the gym. I do yoga. I do all kinds you of stuff. You go to a gym? Really? I, I do. We never yeah. talked about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, gay people, I think, would. You do, do you exercise? Yeah, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not about it. Well, because you're not about it. Like, I mean, is that a small body. part portion of gay people that are just obsessed with looking, you know, being in tip-top shape? We have all that stripes. Very we 1950s have <laughs> different weight people, you know, fat people, short people. Right. But are they in different groups? Like, because I always hear that gay guys feel like once they hit a certain age and they don't look a certain way, that they feel like they're never gonna uh, get laid again or, or, or meet a guy. Is that it's true? It's just interesting how I hope that's not true. Well, there's definitely a certain evolution of life. I mean, I, I think it's possible some people think that way. Yeah. But it's not all gay men. No. But well, it's also good. like because you do have the bears, you have the big guys, we have right? The big guys. The and big hairy guys. Guys who like those big guys, the chubby chasers. Ah, I love chubby chasers. <laughs> But I was going to mention yeah. on bodybuilders, you yeah. know, that always what they talk about, it's, it's not even so much that they go to the gym, it's the nutrition. Yes. They do. A lot of them have that. It, if you really want to be like a training, it's those six small meals a day. And the, yes. it's easy. One of the Agreed. ways I figured out how to do it for myself, which I don't do you know, regularly, but if I get a sandwich for lunch, right. I can have half at 12 and half at 2. And that's, I'm not saying that's, that's great. the way to go, it's but it's, for it's me, it's better. the first step. It, to it's think, better. Oh, yeah. I could do six meals. Why have the whole sandwich in one sitting? Portion control. Right, right. But it's also just like, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, what's the word, navigate or um, pace myself. Pace, day, yes. With the sort of the six meals as opposed to uh, just stuffing throw, yourself. Throw a whole stomach, a whole right, in the stomach. right. Well, that's awesome. No, and, and see, wh- when I say eating disorder, where I, when I grew up, it was all about dieting. And, you know, then as I got older, my mother especially, you know, they had the, the um, uh, pep pills, they had speed, mm-hmm. and I used to do Dexatrim. I don't know if you remember yeah, yeah. yeah, which was just tons of caffeine in a pill. Mm-hmm. Um, but but it, well, I would do different, like, you know, diets, and then I would do, like, starvation, and, you know, starve and binge, which leads to an eating disorder, you know. Sure. But being a recovery-type person anyway, I had a proclivity towards overeating. I was not into bulimia, and I was not, I would say, anorexic, I, partly because the bulimia part I always say because I'm very lazy. And that bulimia takes a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. Um, so I was lucky that way. My laziness paid off. But anyway, so so I'm the nutrition part. You know, as I get older, number one, I don't want. I hate. I have a fear of being sick. Mm-hmm. And as my mother, this I used this example I believe the other day. My mother had cancer, and uh, she uh, did one round of chemo. She was a cigarette smoker, lung cancer. And we were working with a Chinese uh, cancer researcher, and he said, "Stop doing the chemo, and take Chinese medicine." We went to Chinatown and did that thing with the old Chinese guy and uh, changed her eating habits. And now with this whole Angelina Jolie thing, it just, to me, it's so upsetting because 
She cut off her breasts, and she doesn't even have cancer. I mean, that's insane. Well, I, I wonder, like, there's a whole lot of things going on here that, I mean, different people, probably different things work for different people. Right? But I wonder if it's just, now it's just to live with that fear of it. Yeah, but if you do any research, see, this is what, where knowledge is power. And have you done any research on this, Michael? Or? No, no. I, I, no, no. It's on the news. getting breast cancer? It's not no, like I, 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 male I, genetic? Uh, uh, no, but, well, I got Men <laughs> do get breast cancer, by the way. I yeah, oh, no, no, yeah. yeah. I, think yeah. Dave I saw that episode of Oz. It scared the shit out of me. What, Oz? Remember Oz? That that prison show on HBO? Oh, they yeah. Had, that was a subplot one time, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, and then he had to, like, kill someone. Well, he had to tell the doctor to not tell him what the public what it was, because he could get killed if they... Yeah. Yeah, so. Well, but see, this is the thing. This is the thing. Women are told, I think it's completely barbaric. Women are told to cut up their breasts. It, by the way, cancer, that doesn't mean cancer's not going to come somewhere else if you don't change your sure. lifestyle. I mean, that's, to me, it's just common sense. If a man ha is, is, has a proclivity to prostate cancer, are you cutting out your prostate? Not without a fight. Exactly my yeah. point. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying is that women like... You know, when you just accept the doctor's opinion, there are so many. That's what I loved about, I'll tell you, technology, it, Facebook is fantastic. Because I learned so many things about about alternatives. And I already know a lot of alternatives. Yeah. But there are there's so much research showing what you can do instead, or at least try, before you even have, get cancer. You may not even get it. Well, right. But well, I, mean, I would like to think that she, Angelina, has access you would think the you best. You would think. But yeah. we don't know that she did. But we don't I don't think she did the research because her mother had cancer, breast cancer, and she got terrified. And sh I believe she she just trusted blindly and went from fear. But we don't know that. Well, I'm just we I, don't know. this is did my. She, I did she talk to. Uh, maybe somebody didn't steer her to a nutritionist or even Eastern medicine. I would think to think that, you know, they always criticize Hollywood people as like, oh, they're so out of touch. They always try these wacky things. You would think she that. She should have. Well, that's what I'm wondering. If yeah. You would think somebody would say to her, hey, why don't we go to China? Yeah, I, well, I don't. I don't think she did. I think it's going to come out whether she did or not. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that I think what's going to end up happening. I is would like to think if somebody did that, such a, I won't call it a desperate move, but a move that's like that drastic, drastic, that you would have done all your information, especially if you're Angelina Jolie. Right. At least. If but I mean, I, how, how drastic is it? I mean, you know, who she needs gets boobs. To, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, as I'm not saying that facetiously. I'm wondering. Sort of Fifty thousand dollars out. Uh, 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 Surgery, surgery. Which, you know, you yeah. can't afford, it and whoever. Right. Plus, you know, um, you know, doctors get kickbacks. On, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I would say I saw on sixty minutes. I'm gonna get. I'm so afraid I'm gonna get assassinated. I swear. Well, yeah. <laughs> but like, luckily, I only have one one listener. Yeah. And I don't think they're with the government. They work. For you don't have your address on your Facebook status. No. Do you? no, okay. no well, way. so the other thing is that. Um, I just lose my phone. You don't have to worry about cancer. I know you only about me. No. Um, that, oh, on 60 Minutes, they, yeah. they had a friend of Steve Jobs on the uh, Also could have been avoided, I believe. Oh, well, okay. You yes. know, again, you would think with his billions yes. and access, yes. he would yes. have been able to find the right answer. I, I'm not saying, you know, I don't well, know. Well, I, and I, I, will, I have a rebuttal to that when you're done. Okay. So the guy in 60 Minutes <laughs> said, I forget <laughs> who it was, some tech, uh, tech guy, some rich guy, said um, that Steve Jobs said that he, when he found out, he would have attacked it if he came out right away. He would have. Steve Jobs said he would attack it with chemo, yes, and then that's what he did. No, he didn't do it right away. Like, he didn't do it right away. He went with the alternative stuff first. Really? I would, be really I would be curious what, his, what he did alternatively. Well, here's my problem with Angelina's story is that we don't know the steps that led to that. Yes, and that will – no, we don't, and we don't, that will okay. come out. That will come out we don't know at she some point. A, B, C, D, right. I don't think she did. Well, let's let's put it this way. I think she did. She might have been a smoker. If you look on the green screen, your shirt's all weird. You have yeah, books on your shirt. Purple. You have yeah. books on your shirt. Um, just an aside. So, <laughs> comedy. I I believe this is. Well, put it this way. If I had that what if my accent, purple? do you have to worry about anything? Okay. Oh, that part right. You have a green shirt on. Came in. How come it's purple, Michael? That's a great question. That's <laughs> a great question. <laughs> question. Is, it, is it a nutritional issue? It's that a with my shirt. Well, I don't know. Yeah, what I kind of vitamins are you? Should exactly. I go to Chinatown and get yeah. a new shirt? Maybe it'll turn out. Yeah. I think so. Um, make sure it's pure, 100% common. Anyway, um, I would think that if you have that kind of cash, mm -hmm. 
If you have that kind of cash, I almost pressed car, ca car crash. It was useless, it was pointless. That was a very effective. That was really that effective? I th yeah, think I I, I, I'm trying to get a point across, and I thought that was helpful. Uh, uh, at least one burp per show. Good Excellent. save. Quota. Good save. Made the quota. <laughs> um, you would not only do a lot of research and try different things, but you would ha you have access to the best food, probably the cleanest, healthiest food on the planet. You could try juicing. You could, I mean, you could live in the purest place. There are, there are, there is a group of uh, people that live in Japan. I, I heard this a few years ago, and I was amazed by this. They live like on the mountains, right? You're shaking your head. You sound yeah, like I've you know. I've heard that they the, the oldest people in the world. They're the oldest people in the world. So a lot of them smoke cigarettes. They, they, what's in their diet that what their lifestyle is, very li little stress. They do work during the day. They, um, they eat a lot of miso, and they make sure they have a lot of fun, too. They, they have a very balanced miso. lives. Bad things about miso, too. So. Miso, really, or soy? Mm -hmm. It's probably soy. soy. Maybe it's no, it's soy probably I soy. I don't think it's miso. I In between your toes, smack dab in the middle of your split crotch pantyhose. The unknown show. The unknown show. The unknown zone. Talk show.